Hey friends, and welcome back to another Surface video. We've actually been here now a number of times together. The Surface Pro 4, this device right here, is something akin to the seventh Surface device, and that's not counting the Surface Mini, which was, as you know, canceled. Keep in mind the Surface RT, the very first Surface, came out in 2012, that's some time ago. Now to start, you must recall the Surface Pro 3. It was a really dramatic improvement over the Surface Pro 2. The Surface Pro 3 packed a new design, more power, and a more capable typing experience. Does it look similar? It actually is in some ways. With the Pro 4, Microsoft has taken the progress it made on the Pro 3 and just amped it up a full notch. Keep in mind the Pro 4 is the thinnest surface yet. First off, the screen. Now this is really fun. I've been playing with this now for just about a week and it is 2,736 pixels this way by 1,824 this way. That's more than the Pro 3 and it is a very fast responsive screen. As you can tell just right here, it's quite nice. Zoom in, zoom out, looks good. Video, high quality. I really kind of dig it. I haven't had a single complaint so far with the screen on the Pro 4. Now the screen size itself is 12.3 inches this way, so it's a little bit larger than the Pro 3, 0 0.3 inches, but the same size package. So that means less bezel and more view. The Pro 4 weighs really about the same amount as the Pro 3, 1.69 pounds compared to 1.76. Unless you're some sort of savant, I really doubt you're gonna notice a difference. Now the Pro 4 packs a sixth generation Intel Core chip. So if you knew the Pro 3, you can expect a little bit of a speed boost. Now, I've been playing with the Pro 4 for just about a week, and thinking back to the early days of the Surface line, I was constantly reminded that the hardware was a bit ahead of the software. With the Pro 4 and a current, current mind, build the Windows 10, things seem mostly equal, which is very, very welcome. I and mean, Windows 10 on this is just a really great experience. It's fast, responsive, and much better than Windows 8. Okay, aside from the improved pen and inking, a larger screen, and faster chips, what's really good about the Pro 4? Well, something that's very near and dear to my heart, the type cover. Since the original Surface RT, there was a touch cover, a type cover, and they were just not that good. They improved over time, they just weren't that strong for day-to-day -day typing. Finally, they pulled it off. This generation has a chiclet style keyboard, which means you can type quickly, accurately, and it's not a bother. I type for a living, so I have very, very high standards here, and when I use this, I don't think I'm sacrificing too much. It's a change. The keys, like your Surface Book and your trusty MacBook Air, are chiclet by design. It's just a better setup. Also out with the Pro 4 is a brand new dock with one cool thing. It has two video outs. That means when you run Pro 4, you can run two big screens. Now, all right, better keyboard, better screen, new pen, faster chips, what's not to like? Well, the Surface Pro 4 costs $100 more than its predecessor, and Microsoft has not been very clear about why the price went up. It could be margin pressure or desire for greater profitability, but certainly this device is a little bit more money. All told, the Pro 4 is by far the best traditional Surface product in my experience. Not cheap, certainly interesting, and worth a shout. For the PC user, they now have two choices, Surface Book or Pro 4. What's best for you? Well, you'll have to find out. 